Today, we're making soldering blocks for the bench. That's next here on The Fellow Hobbyist. I searched around the internet for a soldering block, uh, a DIY soldering block. I couldn't really find anything. So I thought, well, I made my own forge here. I mini, I mini forged a, a number of months ago. The link is up here. Uh, the refractory is made out of perlite and plaster Paris. And since I couldn't find anything, I decided to make my own here. I want to do some soldering. I want to do some silver soldering on the bench here. And I need to, I don't have any fire bricks. I've seen different compositions out of charcoal, out of these honeycomb bricks that you can stick needles into. You'll be able to do that with this also. This will be good for your jewelry making. If you do any jewelry making, you need a fire, a fire block here, a soldering block here. I'm going to be using perlite. You can find this at any home garden center. I bought this off Amazon uh, and I'm going to be using some plaster Paris like so. So it's a, all it is is a four to one ratio, four of this to one of this. We're going to mix in some water. What we're going to do here is hot glue this down. We're going to make the forms that I've got them at one and a quarter inches. We'll make the forms. I don't know. We'll use this length. So they're going to be just over eight and a half inches. And let's do them um, eight by eight by six ish. Eight by six. Let's do them eight by five and a half or something similar. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? We're going to use hot glue. I'm just using a a piece of cardboard. There we go. There's the first one, one and a quarter. Use their one, two, three blocks. We'll get this on. Get another one, two, three block. This is going to be very fast here, guys. Just using some MDF. Okay, let's do this. Where's five and five sixteens? The mixture, put it in the mold, and we'll have our soldering blocks. Okay, I don't have much of this left, that's the thing. Okay, we need a mixing container. What I will have to make next is some flux, some borax flux. And for the borax flux, I'm gonna need some boric acid, some TSP, which I have here, and some some actual borax. So we're going to go get some of that at the pharmacy. Make some of the flux. Then we're going to do some soldering. So anyways, one. We'll take two of these for now. That should be enough, right? I'll take one of these. Of this. And we need water. And then we're going to mix it. Just going to do it by eye. We'll mix it up, do it by eye. Just want a consistency that it clumps up in your hand. This is just. Oh, I'm supposed to mix it up first here. So four to one. 
Let's see if we have enough. That's done. Let's get the mold and let's form it. Let's see if we have enough here. Okay, I don't think I need to make him this big, do I? I'm gonna squeeze it down properly. Didn't make enough. Okay, let's do one more, what, a quarter of this. Pearl, any more perlite, so we make what we have, but this is good. Save it all. Let's save it all. Oh, it's about the same, right? Okay, we want to screw, press it down nicely. You want a nice blocks. You'll be able to stick your needles into it. No, let's just use these one, two, three blocks. Will they work? I'll wash this and dry it quickly so it doesn't rust. So that's good. Okay, let me clean up, let's let it dry, then we'll come back. Okay, let's take a look, see what we got. It's been overnight, it's nice and dry. Let's tear it apart. Okay, so apologies, I lost the footage, the initial footage uh, where I tested out these soldering blocks. It has been a couple of months. Uh, my videos are filmed and edited a few months before it releases. So just before I was about to release this, I noticed that I didn't have this testing. So anyways, so I've used these blocks quite a bit. So let me just show you that They're fine here. I do have a piece of brass, which I will just put a little bit of solder together here. Putting a little bit of flex on. The flex I'm using is two parts borax, two parts boric acid and one part TSP, just mixed with some water to make a paste.
I'll just place a piece of solder here. And with any luck, And to show the full effect of these soldering blocks. I'm going to get a propane torch, piece of aluminum. Wasn't a very clean piece of aluminum, was it? But anyways. To last quite a long time, they absorb the heat. If you do any type of soldering, silver soldering, if you do any type of jewelry, Let me just show you this. So they're easy to make. They'll last quite a long time. You know, they'll break down sooner or later. It's cheap. You just make another set. All right. Thanks for joining, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.